The five, the New Albany Police Department has a new building. It replaces the almost century old building that housed the department with a more spacious and modern place to be. WTVA's Garner Montgomery visited the building today and has a look at the upgrade. So I'm outside the new New Albany Police Department where Chief Chris Robertson gave me the full tour. This room where the dispatch is actually taking place is actually a Cat 5 bunker. This uh, reinforced concrete bulletproof glass, and this is the control center for the police department. The new facility comes with everything a department this size could hope for. There's a brand new training room for officers, a new kitchen, an interrogation room, a spare room with workout equipment, a key card access system with different levels, and a shower. For the first time, guys can, you know, if they have an incident on patrol, uh, most of them don't live close enough to be able to kind of go home and change. They can come and take a shower and change here at the station. This building used to be a Fred's Pharmacy before being bought by the city of New Albany. It's both the home of the police department and New Albany light, gas, and water. It's worked out really well. Uh, I can't be more uh, pleased with how this has turned out. We're extremely excited to be in a, new, in a new building and have all the things we have. The new building replaces this much older and smaller building that is now a historic landmark for the city. The original building was built in the 1930s and has been the home to every single city department here in New Albany at one point in time, including City Hall, but it's been the New Albany Police Department for most of its history. There's so many things about this building that we have that we didn't have the other one. I, I could, it would be, I, I, we'd be here all day explaining it. Chief Robertson says that once they fully decorated this new building, they'll hold an open house so the public can see all the upgrades for themselves. Reporting from New Albany, Garner Montgomery, WTVA 9 News.